So now let's see how we can work around with tau effect inside of GIMP. So to work around with tau effect, you need to first go around under filters right here and then go around over here under map right here. And here you can see that tau is an option. So if I were to go around on the tau, then you can see that I can go around and change around the width and height. So let's just go around and change this out right here. So let's say for example, 5000 right here, just like this. And if I were to go around and press OK, then what happens is that I simply get a tile like this, as you can see right here. But it's not seamless, as you can see right here. So what you can do first is first create a, um, a seamless tile by using the tile seamless filter. So I'm going to go around uh, over here onto map and over here you can see that tile seamless is an option. So uh, once I go around and apply this and then go around onto filters and then onto map and then onto tile right here just like this, then I can go around and do the same. Let's do 6000 this time and I'm going to go around and press OK right here just like this. So once I go around and do that, you can see that now it is seamless right here. So this is with, without applying the seam, seamless um, effect and now this is with applying the seamless effect as you can see right here. And that is how you can utilize the tile effect inside of GIMP. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.